besides being two great rappers with a passion for weed. Lil Wayne and Snoop Dogg are two visionary men who know well how to multiply their wealth. But the question is, which of the two leads a more luxurious life? In this video you will watch a close battle between Lil Wayne and Snoop Dogg. So, let's get to the fight! Before we get started, I challenge you. You have to click on subscribe and activate notifications check the option all. But, you have to do that in less than 5 seconds, you got it? And if you can, write in the comments hashtag about subscribe. Alright, let's get started. Round 1 Cars Both Lil Wayne and Snoop Dogg are world famous rappers, and with such financial wealth, they can both afford luxury cars. But the question is, which one of them has the most expensive garage? Snoop Dogg loves collectibles that have historical value, such as his 1974 DeVille Lowrider Cadillac, a vehicle that was once greatly admired by hip-hop groups in the 1990s and which may currently be worth $15,000. Affectionately nicknamed the Batmobile, the rapper owns a Polaris Slingshot, a little toy that costs, without its customization, around $25,000. Some sources say that he also once owned a Chrysler 300C, this is a classic sedan equipped with a 425 horsepower engine, and a new one costs around $32,000. One vehicle that Snoop Dogg had customized to suit his taste is his Ford Mustang GT, with it getting a blue paint job and the rapper's name stamped on the car window. Although it is not known how much the singer paid on this customization, a new vehicle of this model costs around $35,000. Speaking of classic cars, Snoop Dogg also has a restored and well-maintained 1957 Chevy Bel Air in mint color, a vehicle that, being a collectible and very historic, can be worth upwards of $50,000. Raising the level of refinement and luxury, the rapper owns a Rolls-Royce Ghost, a vehicle that gives off an aura of sophistication, good taste and comfort, and costs about $310,000. Lil Wayne is not far behind in this regard though. At age 19, for example, the artist bought his first high-speed toy, a Porsche Boxster, a vehicle that in its newer versions can cost around $70,000. In this same price range, Lil has already posed for pictures leaning against the Cadillac CTS, a car that is actually considered pretty simple for the rapper's standard. Another vehicle once owned by the artist was a classic Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, a limited-edition car worth around $189,000. Back in 2020, the rapper shared on his Instagram his McLaren 720S capable of outputting an impressive 710 horsepower, meaning it can accelerate from 0 to 60 in just 2.9 seconds. And to have such a machine you have to fork out about $400,000. For more comfortable and refined rides, the singer relies on a Rolls-Royce Phantom Coupe that costs around $443,000. The rapper was one of the first celebrities to purchase a Bugatti Veyron, an extremely luxurious super sports car capable of reaching a top speed of 254 miles per hour. So it's no wonder that the car costs around $1,800,000. One of Lil Wayne's most expensive vehicles is his Maybach 62 Landaulet, a very exclusive vehicle with a V12 engine, valued at $1,900,000. Taking into account the prices of these cars, it is clear that Lil Wayne wins this first round. A point to him. Round 2 Luxury Shopping World celebrities like Lil Wayne and Snoop Dogg have plenty of money to spend their fortunes on whatever they want. Besides the famous grills, a dental accessory full of precious stones, which can be worth real fortunes, the celebrity likes to wear gold and diamond chains, watches and rings. He ordered from the jeweler Eliante, for example, a very shiny double-sided custom ring for three fingers. Surely this jewelry cannot have been cheap. But besides giving gifts, Lil Wayne also likes to surprise his loved ones. On the birthday of Nicki Minaj's daughter, he bought her countless gifts from brands such as Balenciaga. What a luxury! For his own daughter Regine's 16th birthday, he bought her a BMW X4 and a Ferrari 599 GTO that can cost up to $400,000. The following year, she also got a Range Rover. What a lucky girl, isn't she? Meanwhile, Snoop Dogg, in order to always dress stylishly, 
owns many jewels to compose his look, for example, gold chains. In honor of his mother, for example, he has a shiny necklace full of diamonds made in New York jeweler tracks, an item that must have cost a pretty penny. In honor of the record label responsible for his career, Death Records, Snoop Dogg also has a gold and diamond jewel. And it seems that the singer also likes to give gifts to his loved ones. His wife, for example, posted several photos showing us the treat she got from her husband, two brilliant rings that seem to be covered by diamonds, which must have cost Calvin a good amount of money. His wife is also always posting her purchases from designer brands on Instagram. She owns, for example, several Louis Vuitton handbags, among them. A fairly versatile handbag with multiple compartments that costs $2,360. The game on handbag with a playing cards design, a rather exclusive item that costs around $2,700. The Anfigo model that has the brand's larger monogram prints, valued at $2,970. An artistic handbag with a design done by painter Henry Taylor, an accessory that is custom made and costs around $8,000. And a small yellow briefcase from the brand, a rather rare item that can be found for sale for $9,200. In addition, Snoop Dogg also likes to dress up in order to perform at important events. When he was announcing his star on the Hall of Fame, the rapper wore a jacket and a turtleneck sweater by Gucci, totaling more than $6,000. When it comes to watches, the singer uses some not-cheap models. He has been seen at an event wearing a watch from the Joe Rodeo brand, it is embedded with diamond stones in its frame, an item that costs $6,140. Snoop also owns a Rolex Daydate 2 made in 18 karat yellow gold with diamond dials, a luxury accessory that costs over $52,000. Since both rappers like to spend a lot of money on jewelry, we'll consider this round tied. Both get a point. Round 3 Real Estate In this round you will find out which of the two has the most expensive real estate portfolio, would it be Lil Wayne or Snoop Dogg? Dwayne has already invested in a property located on La Gorse Island in Miami Beach, Florida, a private oasis of serenity and breathtaking beauty. The three-story house has a very eye-catching external look, being completely filled with greenish windows that give a beach-like style to the estate. The entrance door features a fountain with fish, and soon after you can see the luxurious panoramic elevator. It has 15,000 square feet of internal area, with plenty of natural light and openings to the external spaces, which offers modernity and luxury to the large double-height ceiling rooms. The property features nine bedrooms, with its highlight being the two-story master suite with N-suite bathroom and spectacular ocean views. In the external area, there is a swimming pool and a hot tub, some relaxing armchairs to sunbathe on, and a bay to go for boat rides on the water. The rapper disposed of this tropical paradise in 2017 when he sold the mansion for $10 million. However, Lil Wayne's latest real estate purchase has been reported on several celebrity websites, seeing as the rapper's new mansion luxury alone really does leave anyone impressed. Located amidst the mountains in the town of Hidden Hills, California, the 3.3-acre estate offers plenty of privacy. Built in 2019, the contemporary-style home with pyramidal roof has a painted and clad in shades of gray facade. Entering through the front door, the clean entrance hall has a wood-paneled ceiling and a skylight to let the natural light in. The main living room is quite large and features several environments, such as a dining room with a rather luxurious oval-shaped table. There are 12,100 square feet distributed into seven bathrooms, being that the one in the master suite offers a bathtub with spectacular views. The master bedroom is huge and also features a living area with lots of natural lighting, a beautiful all-white walk-in closet. In total, there are seven bedrooms in order to accommodate several guests. The chef's kitchen is modern, cozy and has two islands with marble countertops, besides being integrated with another dining area, which is surrounded by floor-to-ceiling glass windows that provide lush landscaping. Lil Wayne can also count on a luxury climate-controlled wine cellar, a bar area surrounded by stools to gather friends for get-togethers, a gym with stationary bicycles and an extremely exquisite cinema room with comfortable armchairs and ceiling filled with stars, which offers a unique experience. Outside, the exuberant view of the natural forests catches the eye from every angle. The relaxing swimming pool and hot tub next door provide great moments of leisure with plenty of privacy. There is also a basketball court for sports enthusiasts. 
An outdoor kitchen also allows one to go barbecuing outdoors. And to enjoy all this luxury, Lil Wayne had to pay $15,400,000 on this mansion. But if you thought that Lil Wayne would go without a Miami Beach vacation home, you're mistaken. The very next year he acquired a new property located on Allison Island, a safe and sophisticated village filled with mansions. This is a contemporary residence full of straight lines and wooden coverings that contrast with the white walls and the vegetation of the gardens, managing to strike on a good impression straight from its facade. The main entrance door gives access to a luxurious living room with double height ceiling and sea views, composing a beautiful natural look. The furniture in brown tones provides a refined aesthetic without losing its coziness. The 10,600-square-foot home offers much comfort for the resident, having the living and dining rooms integrated together to the outdoor area. The chef's kitchen is minimalist, with cabinets built into the large wooden panel. The central island is connected to a table that serves both for quick breakfasts and for meals for up to six people. The house features a total of seven well-ventilated and clean-looking bedrooms, with the master suite being the highlight. It is surrounded by glass walls that can easily be covered by built-in curtains. And, of course, Lil Wayne's bedroom features a large balcony with ocean views, a spacious walk-in closet and a beautiful lavatory with a relaxing bathtub. Not to mention the other 10 bathrooms with great finishes scattered around the mansion. Other amenities from the residence are a movie room with a great sound and picture system and a spacious office. But undoubtedly the most striking feature of the property is the outdoor area filled with relaxing armchairs and surrounded by green grass. The refreshing infinity pool offers panoramic ocean views. And, of course, there's a barbecue area in order to prepare meals al fresco. It is a true tropical paradise. Lil Wayne acquired this property in 2018 after paying $16,700,000 at the time. Currently, many real estate portals estimate that the value of the mansion is approximately $30 million. The rapper has really made a profitable investment. Snoop Dogg, on the other hand, acquired his first home in 1994, with it being a large house with 6,500 square feet of total area, located in Claremont, California. The singer had already shared a little more of his residence on the MTV channels from the vault framework for his fans. The house has an ancient architecture, with a classic and rustic design close to the Italian style. And although it is not currently seen as a glamorous residence, more than 25 years ago it was considered a real mansion. The property features a recording room where Snoop could work, as well as having a beautiful outdoor area to play with his kids, complete with a basketball court and a large swimming pool. The artist even made renovations and expanded the size of the residence until he decided to sell it in 2007. To get an idea of values, he bought this property for $660,000 and later sold it for $1,800,000. In other words, he made a good deal. As his success and also his fortune increased, Snoop Dogg acquired a new and more modern mansion in the city of Diamond Bar, California. The house is inside the coveted gated Community Country Estates, a residential community full of luxurious properties. This is an excellent option for celebrities who want more privacy, but don't want to give up their proximity to Los Angeles. Possessing a total area of an impressive 25,800 square feet, the home boasts 7,000 square feet of living space, spread over six spacious bedrooms, including the master suite located on the ground floor and six bathrooms, and that's not counting the bathroom. The property's decor is quite old. After all, she was built in 1977, having a strong presence of solid wood furniture, besides having a yellowish lighting, which brings the feeling of greater coziness to environments. The property also features a wood-paneled office, a game room with a pool table, and an excellent outdoor area with a large pool for Snoop to cool off in the hottest days, a hot tub to relax in, a barbecue area, and a court that serves for the singer to play tennis and also basketball. The rapper acquired this property in 1998, paying $720,000 at the time. Currently, his residence is valued on real estate websites at over $4 million. Also, it could be that Snoop Dogg has bought a new property, as he is always posting photos and videos in a more modern, all-black indoor basketball court, as well as having other rooms decorated with family portraits that are always backdrops for his wife's photos. As Lil Wayne has more luxurious properties, he wins this round. Another point for him. Round 4 Sources of Income 
Besides making a lot of money as artists, Lil Wayne and Snoop Dogg have other sources of income. But which one of them has the most ventures? Lil Wayne, for example, has had his own record label since 2005. It is known as the Young Money Entertainment, which has been responsible for musical projects of artists like Tyga, Drake and currently has names like Nicki Minaj. In fact, Lil Wayne even sold the copyright of several songs from his company's catalog to Universal Music Group, receiving $100 million. Carter announced his own brand of cannabis under the name GKUA Ultra Premium three years ago. Lil Wayne also has his own clothing brand which is called Truckfit, a sports agency Young Money in his own line of rum, Bumboo, a drink he is always promoting on his social media. This is all without counting the money from sponsorships, like his multi-million dollar contract with Pepsi's Mountain Dew, plus with Samsung, PlayStation, among many others. Snoop, meanwhile, does not lag behind in investments. The artist is co-founder of the capital fund Greenhouse Capital Venture, which invests in the cannabis industry either for medicinal or recreational use. Currently, Greenhouse's portfolio is valued at approximately $200 million. Snoop Dogg is one of the few pioneers in this world to invest in this area, a market that promises to grow even more. He also has a mobile app called Rap Empire, which is a game where the goal is to build an empire through rap. Not to mention that Snoop has an online store with several of his branded products, such as clothing and his own cookbooks. Being a pretty up-to-date guy, he's also keeping an eye on technology, having invested in his own virtual land in the metaverse, as well as promising to launch his collection of NFTs. In addition, he will invest in his own brand of hot dogs. In the drinks business, the rapper has partnered with Australian wine brand, putting the 19 Crimes wine brand on the shelves, plus he has founded his own gin brand that has been quite successful, known as Indogagin. Speaking of advertising, Snoop Dogg has already signed big contracts to participate in ad campaigns for brands such as Hot Pocket, Pepsi, Bic, Corona, among others. And the rapper also makes money on the internet. On Instagram, for example, where he has over 76 million followers, it's a great way for him to advertise. Taking into consideration that Snoop Dogg has more diverse ventures and is also more popular on social media, he wins this round. Fifth round. Net worth. Lil Wayne and Snoop Dogg have very similar career times, but the real question is, which one has amassed a greater net worth? In addition to the income Snoop Dogg has achieved from selling his albums, having sold over 60 million copies, he pockets about $100,000 for every show he performs. That's not counting the income the singer gets from playing his songs on digital platforms. We can't forget that Snoop has also worked in films and series, such as his dubbing in the animated SpongeBob, The Amazing Rescue, Dolmite Is My Name from Netflix, among many others. In addition, the rapper has also appeared on television shows, such as the cooking show Martha and Snoop S. Dinner Party. And with so many sources of income, being an established personality for so long, Calvin Cortizer has already amassed quite a net worth. In a story done by Forbes magazine in 2016, they stated that Snoop Dogg had earned $124 million in a mere decade. Nowadays, as the artist has increasingly invested in successful businesses, certainly his patrimony has already exceeded this multi-millionaire figure. With Lil Wayne it would be no different, though. One of the biggest sources of income for the rapper are his shows and world tours. According to Forbes magazine, the star usually does 50 shows a year, receiving $600,000 for each performance. That represents a turnover of an impressive $30 million a year. With all these sources of income, some sources estimate Lil Wayne's net worth to be at $170 million. But with so many successful businesses, it could be that they are underestimating the rapper's wealth. As although it's not possible to find out for sure what each rapper's net worth is, and considering they both have a similar professional trajectory, we'll consider this round a draw. However, in this video we are evaluating who flaunts more and leads a more luxurious life, so let's get to the sum of the points. At the end of this fight, we had 3 points for Snoop Dogg and 4 points for Lil Wayne, making him the winner of this battle. But if you believe that there are still other arguments to defend one of the two, write down below your best justification. Hey, you like the video? So don't forget about leave your like and comment. 
and tell some suggestions of another videos, and hopefully we gonna do it. All about channel, Dio's to satisfy your curiosity.